guess I should show. Uh, so, if you have not seen the two other parts of the series, what I am doing is I am going through all of the uh, divisions in the NFL, and we're going through the schedules. Um, I am a Packers fan, so I started with the NFC North, so we started down here in the NFC. Uh, so that was one. We did the NFC East, which you'll be seeing last week. This week uh, is the NFC South. Next week is the NFC West. And then after that, then we go up to the AFC North, AFC East, AFC South, and we end with the AFC West. So the a AFC West is going to be kind of the last in the series here. Um, I am spacing these out really far. Every, I'm putting them up every Wednesday. Uh, so that's eight weeks. Uh, but it's because there's really nothing going on for the NFL. <laughs> we hit free agency. We hit the draft. Uh, you know, we got through everything we really needed to get through. Um, we, you know, schedule release was kind of a big thing, but from here on out, it's, you know, end of July, early August is when, you know, things really start to ramp up and people get excited for, uh, you know, preseason and then regular season. Uh, so it's, you know, every Wednesday, I'm going to put one of these up, uh, just again, cause there's nothing going on for the NFL. So I can, I can space these out, which is good. Fine with me. Fine with me. It gives me time to do other stuff non-NFL crap. So uh, we are starting here. This is the Tampa Bay Bucks schedule. Um, we're going to start looking at them. Now, I don't expect a team in this division to get above 10. Well, I guess I should say, let's say 11 to 12 wins. Maybe someone gets 10 wins. I don't expect like 11 or 12 win uh, team from this division. I think it's all going to be around 500, mainly sub 500. Uh, just because all four teams are bad, <laughs> and they're all kind of in a, like a rebuild slash, we are never good. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. So obviously the Bucks of Baker Mayfield now. Tom Brady's gone, so they're they're in their rebuild. So they, you know, most likely they're gonna lose to the Vikings. I think the Bears. I think that's winnable. I think that is winnable. That's gonna be a game where it's like, okay, it's early in the season. Both teams, you know, you have a whole bunch of new pieces. Let's see how you do. I, I'm going to – we'll say they win that. We'll say they go one and one. Um, but then you have the Eagles. <laughs> then you have the Eagles week three. <laughs> so that's that's fun. Um, then you have the Saints. I Maybe you could split with the Saints, possibly. I think there's going to be a lot of splitting uh, in the NFC South. And, real, I mean, the whole – South as a whole, like even the AFC South – is going to be atrocious. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, one and one splits in that too. So, uh, a week five buy. Now, personally, I don't like those really early buys. I, I think week five is the earliest. Um, and I know, I, I think my Packers have like a week six buy, um, which it feels weird because, you know, obviously we, we're so used to having like a week 10, week 12 buy. Um, but I, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of like a week five by, week six by, week seven by, because it, you're just starting the season and then it's like, oh, month in, here you go. Here's, here's your bye week. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> what if someone gets hurt in week 13, 14? Like, <laughs> I know still, again, if you had like a week seven, eight by, it's like, okay, I think that's perfect. Middle of the season by, I think it's perfect. A week five by, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. Then you have the Lions. I think, well, you do host them. Uh, I think that's probably still an L. I, th I think you still lose that one. So there's potential. Again, one win here, one win here. Otherwise, three losses so far. Falcons, God, man. I think you're split again. So there's, there's. we'll give this one a win at home. And they lose. Buffalo's a loss. They should be able to beat the Texans. <laughs> They should. We'll get to the AFC South. We'll get to the Texans. Um, you know, obviously, again, they had a lot of moves, but depends on coaching, depends on how the players, if they want to show up or not. So, uh, you know, Texans aren't probably aren't going to get too many wins, but they should get a couple. But I think the Bucks are good enough to, you know, uh, beat them. I, I think they should be. Uh, they host Tennessee. Ah, oh, God. Um... Because ten Tennessee's, we'll say they beat Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee's up there is they're bad too. <laughs> well, I don't even know what they're doing. It's kind of hard to figure that out. So we'll say back to back wins here, after you know losing to the Buffalo Bills, back to back wins. Then you're gonna lose to the Niners. Um, 
Oh, God. And then you have the Colts. Uh, see, the, again, the problem is the Bucks are a mid-tier team, but they're facing a lot of mid-tier teams. So you have two mid-tier teams. It's like, okay, well, maybe the Colts win. Maybe the Titans win. Maybe the Texans win. I'm going to say they they beat the Colts. They go, th you know, I'll, three of four right now. Where's uh, the, the, the Jags is probably an L. They go three for four in the AFC South, or against the AFC South. That's my prediction. Uh, again, split with the Carolina Panthers too. So I think they split with all three of them. So three wins, three losses there. Um, week 15 against the Packers at Lambeau. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say they get an L. I, I, God, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm sure there's some Bucks fans or Saints fans. Obviously, Jeff's a Saints fan. He probably watches this. He's probably watching this right now or whenever he sees it. But, you know, there's, you know, Saints fans, Carolina uh, fans, uh, Falcons fans, Bucks fans. Like, okay, you know what? Maybe we can go, you know, do this and do this. We can actually beat this team. I'm sitting here from the outside looking in going, you have this as your roster, which isn't very good. I don't know how these other teams are going to look. I don't know how my Packers are going to look because Jordan Love is a brand new QB to us. So I just, I don't know. Week 15, you should be in rhythm. You should be fighting for a playoff spot. You're in a mid-tier division. Well, you're in one of the worst divisions in the league. You should be fighting for that. But are they going to be good? I don't know. I, I don't know. So I'm going to say they lose to the Packers. They probably lose to the Jags. The Jags are, you know, easily the best team in the South, uh, AFC South. I think only the Texans are going to give them a run for their money. Um, again, you split with the Saints, so probably went at home. And then, again, you lose possibly Week 18. So I just, like, they're going to be right around, like, 8-9, and nine, somewhere around there. But I'm gonna probably say all teams are. I like. I, I just. I don't know. Like this. This is the division, or one of the divisions where it's like you can't predict anything until the season starts. Until we start seeing them in action, and even then, it's like you have to wait a month. You can't see week one who they play week one uh, Vikings. You can't say oh they lost 24-21 to the Vikings. They're a bad team. You know Baker. 15 of 21, or I, I, no, let's go, 15 of 25 uh, passing, you know, he only had 175 yards or something like that, you know, defense was locked down at the start, but then ended up getting tired and, you know, sucking in the second half, but then they could turn it around and go to Chicago, or I'm sorry, host Chicago, um, and put up 35 points and win 35-17 or something. And then it's like, okay, well, are they a good team? Or are they a bad team? Chicago's a bad team. Minnesota is supposed to be a team that should win its division. You know, then you get to the Eagles. It's like, okay, maybe they lose to the Eagles. They lose 31-28. Um, uh, they lose by a field goal. A last-second field goal. They lose to the Eagles uh, on the last play of the game. Then it's like, okay, maybe they're a good team, and we don't know. And then they turn around, they head to New Orleans, and they get blown out 35-10 to 10 or something like that. Like, I, it's it's just four weeks, I think, is, you know, the threshold. And again, they have a bye week in week five here, too. I, I think you have to give them these four games. You know, you play the Eagles, one of the best teams in the league. You play Minnesota, which should be a good team. We'll see. Uh, but then you play the Bears, which coming off of last year was, you know, the worst team in the league. But they went out, they did a bunch of spending. And then you have a division rival here, week four, and you're both are just okay. You're mi mid-tier teams. So I think by week five, heading into that game against the Lions, you should know, are they good or a bad team? Like, this, this is the division for that. Like, this is the division we're going to have to wait. So uh, we're going to go to the Saints here. I'm going to stop blabbering. Again, it's going to be like that for all. Like, maybe they blow out the Titans, they lose to Carolina, uh, blow out the Packers, and then again, like, well, I guess it's the end of 35-10. So, okay, so we'll say they, they get blown out by the Packers, and then they, they blow out uh, the Bucks here. We'll just say that to keep in, um, uh, whatever. <laughs> keep it in line with what I'm saying here first. Then it's like, okay, well, they had a couple blowouts, but they also, you know, lost a couple blowouts. So, yeah, I, I just, you know... 
by week five, week six, that's when you should start kind of seeing these, you know, these teams where we have no idea. Start paying attention to them, and, you know, then we can start figuring it out. Again, I hate when people go, oh, week two, look at this team that's very good. Yes, you're 2-0, and oh, but there's still, what, 16 weeks left? Well, I guess 15 weeks left because of a bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> You just can't. You cannot judge off a week uh, off of two weeks i think you can judge a bit off of four um but two weeks and again especially if they don't play top tier competition then it's like okay well they're winning games they're supposed to win so again tennessee titans should be able to win this they they should um we'll give them the win uh at carolina maybe they split again i, I think probably split with carolina so maybe they lose this one win at home um <laughs> I like so the NFC South plays the Packers this year and obviously I'm being unbiased and you know I, I'm gonna you know if, if they're gonna lose I mean I have my Packers going eight and nine nine and eight it, like the ceiling is nine wins for the Packers but we don't know what Jordan Love it looks like either so like Jordan Love could be a, a good QB but, you know, I, I just, I don't know. So, they have to go on the road to Lambeau. Let's say, let's say they lose at Lambeau. So, so two-game losing streak. Uh, we'll say they beat the Bucks at home uh, after that. So, that's, you know, two and two to start the season. Again, I, I just, I don't know how, I'm doing this for fun because there's not much to do in the offseason here. But it's really hard to predict how these teams are going to look. Um, and so, like, We'll, we'll reevaluate this in the future. Uh, I'll come back, look at these schedules, um, or, you know, we'll do, I'll do some sort of video in the future by, like, week eight and go, okay, well, let's go back and look at my offseason predictions. We'll kind of see what happened here. How close was I? How far away was I? Um, because I I'm really want to know, and I'm going to keep these all in mind, and then, again, we're going to go back, uh, you know, or we're going to come back to this time period in the offseason when we are in the future um, in the, you know, middle of the season. So, <laughs> confusing. Time travel. Well, not time travel. You know what I mean. Um, at New England, should be able to win. New England's a team where I just, I don't know what they're doing. Should be able to beat the Texans. Probably lose to the Jags. I mean, I think the Jags, are, you know, it's going to be tough games for them. But Trevor Lawrence is starting to come into his own. Starting to look like a good QB and whatnot. So he's slowly rising up the ranks and slowly going to be, you know, I think he's going to be generational. I think he could be, you know, a really, really, really good QB um, now that, you know, Urban Meyer's not there. So I think they lose to the Jags. I think they should. Uh, yeah, so they go three for four, just like um, the Bucks. Three for four is my prediction against the uh, AFC South here. Um, should be able to beat Chicago. They have to go to the Vikings. Let's say they lose that one. Uh, week 11 buy. I guess that's, I mean, that's not a bad buy. Especially after a game. Probably lose that. Again, probably. Um, well, I guess they swept the Falcons last. Let's say they sweep the Falcons. So two extra wins right there. Uh, Lions, they host the Lions. I don't know. I See, I think the Lions are going to be good. So I think they lose that one. Um, again, split with them. So they win here. They have the Giants. That's probably a loss. Um, they should be able to beat the Rams though, and then you have the Bucks Week 17. I think that's again probably split with them one and one, and then we'll say they sweep the Falcons. So again, right around like nine and eight, maybe ten wins, maybe. Um, it's it, like it's just so hard. They have an easier schedule. They don't have the Niners and they don't have the Eagles, so <laughs> they have a way easier schedule than the Saints. Uh, now we'll move on here again. I, you know, this is a longer video because I'm just r rambling on. But uh, we'll move on here to the Panthers. So they face the Falcons. We'll say they split with them one and one. Uh, split with the uh, Saints. So two and two at Seattle. They lose that. They lose to the Vikings. They lose to the Lions. They lose to the Dolphins, <laughs> and then they go into the bye. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so two and two, uh, two and three, two and four, two and five, two and six, heading into the bye, three and six, four and six, we'll go four and seven, I'll say they, lo I'll, they lose to the Bears, 
I'm going to say that right now. Again, that's probably wrong. I'm going to say they lose to the Bears. Um, Cowboys, that's a loss. So, four and eight. <laughs> um, that's a, hey, this is on my birthday. Woo! Week 12 is on my birthday. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, I'll say they beat the Titans so five was it five and seven five and eight whatever I said five and six five and seven, um, split with the Bucks so they lose that they lose this one they should be able to beat the Falcons here, probably lose to the Packers will lose to the Jags and then uh, <laughs> um, probably split with them so uh, what is that so one win, two wins. So what, like six? Uh, we'll say we'll say seven and nine. Uh, or I'm sorry, we'll say seven and ten. We'll say seven and ten around around there for them. I think I think they they're gonna lose to a team they should not be losing to. And uh, there, I mean, there was classics last year against the Falcons. So I think if we have another situation like that, um, I think uh, well, who I think they split. I believe they split last year. Uh, but they were classics. They, they really were classics. So, yeah, I think that they could, you know, right around 7 and 10. Yeah, right right around. And, again, I guess it's with Bryce Young, too. So, maybe they lose a, an, an extra game to the uh, Bucks and to the Saints. So, let's let's just say 5 and 12. Let's say 5 and 12. Um, yeah, this stretch right here. <laughs> Three... Three to six is <laughs> really hard. And even, again, you know, new quarterback Bryce Young, maybe they lose one of these games too. So you could even go, like, four wins maybe for them. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I guess, you know, I, I said, you know, seven wins. But, um, again, maybe with Bryce Young, you know, you rookie QB, you take a, a, a win or two off and, you know, get around five wins, six wins. Uh, I, I think their ceiling is probably eight. I want to say that right now. They, they're not, I, unless Bryce Young is a god at football for them, his rookie year, they're not winning 10 games. So, you know, I, I think, you know, eight is probably their ceiling. We'll see. Um, again, if it's a classic, I think they'll split with the Panthers. So one and one, I think they lose here. One and two, one and three, one and four, two and four. Three and four. Three and five, four and five, five and uh, no, four and six, five and six. They have the buy here. We'll split there. So, um, was it five and six? So six and seven. We'll say six and eight. Did I do the one? I did not. Okay. Uh, so let's go seven and eight. Uh, eight and eight. Wait, 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 Hang on. <laughs> okay. One and one, they split. We'll say they lose. One and two. Two and two. Oh, yeah, because I, I added it. God, I'm adding games here. Okay, so two and two for this. So two and two. We'll say three and three. We'll say four and four. Four and five. Five and five, five and six, we'll say five and seven, we'll say six and seven, we'll say seven and seven, we'll say seven and eight, we'll say seven and nine, we'll say seven and ten. Okay, so I think around t uh, seven wins, yeah, around seven wins is the is their peak, the Fal uh, the Falcons' peak here. Um, yeah, I, I think that they may, maybe they get swept by the Saints. Maybe they get swept by the Bucks. Maybe they get swept by the uh, Panthers, which, again, I think, you know, rookie QB is going to be kind of hard to do that. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see. Um, I think probably probably seven to eight wins is probably their height, maybe nine. Um, but, again, I don't see any team in this division getting above ten wins. I, I just I can't just because – they they're all gonna play each other hard first and foremost. So they're again. I have a lot of splits. I think there's gonna be a lot of splits between these teams here. Uh, and again, you can add a win or a loss depending on again. You know, Saints. Maybe they go zero and two instead of one and one. 
So then, you know, you bump them down to 6 and 11 instead of 7 and 10. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't see any any uh, team in the South getting above 10 at all. I, I just, I can't see that. I think it's going to be, oops, wrong one. Uh, I think it's going to be really hard for them. So, uh, yeah, around there, so I think average is about eight wins between all, all four teams around eight wins. Uh, I think, you know, the division winner might win with nine wins. I think it's going to come down to, you know, the end of the year. And, uh, yeah, whoever. <laughs> two teams are going to be in it. The other two teams are going to need help. And, you know, they're going to be like, okay, well, it's, if this one team wins, we're kind of screwed because, you know, they can just win the division with the win and we need help. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if I had to pick a winner... It would be the Saints or I'll say Bucks. I, I I just I don't trust the Falcons just because they always fall apart. Always fall apart. So we'll say the top two teams. I think one of these two teams will win the division. I think, you know, Panthers again are in their rebuild. They just got a brand new QB. So unless again he's God mode. Um they're not winning the division. Uh, Falcons again. I just I don't trust them. I really don't trust them. I don't know how to feel about them. I, they're just such a weird team. So for now, like the video, share the video around, don't subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.